hello welcome to my vlog it's friday and today i do not have to do anything it's the day after my exam for real estate i passed i'm i'm really happy and i'm just relieved but i feel a little bit empty inside because obviously it's done so I need to start doing other things. Right now I'm just like trying to, you know, relax, distress, and do some things that were postponed throughout like this time, especially last month. It took me uh, six months, I think, from um, doing the course to passing the exam. So I'm honestly really happy, really relieved, but it's not the end yet. I'm just a provisional broker. I have to still wait for the character evaluation and then get my license and then do post licensing. So it's a long journey and um, yeah, so today I'm just doing a bunch of things around. Drinking coffee, reading tarot, journaling. So you guys are gonna be with me for the next few days and the plan is basically just to relax a little bit. I need to finish my tarot and oracle spreads for 2024. I started them in the beginning of January but because I was just like so busy with studying for real estate, I put it aside and didn't go dip into that so i'll be doing that i need to send a few emails i need to work i think on my blog but maybe i'll leave it until monday there's a lot of work to do for my blog it's been literally abandoned for a year i need to just clean a little bit write down journal honestly this like free next days i'll be just dedicating to myself and just to shed all the old things and just move on from real estate because as i said yes i, I did feel a little bit empty and my uh, partner in crime the lady who i study with she felt the same way and she literally sat there after the exam and kind of like disbelieved and at that moment, it didn't really hit me, but once uh, me and my husband got home, I did feel like empty. Like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do now? So yeah, today I'm just doing stuff for myself, and tomorrow I think my husband is going to go fishing with his friends, so I'll be home by myself. So I'll just continue the cycle of journaling and doing that kind of stuff. But right now I'm going to eat. I'm following the intermittent fasting, which is great for me. I love that you hold your opinions to yourself. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. It does work for me. So this is almost everything bread from Trader Joe. I usually freeze my bread because I don't consume it as fast. So I like to freeze it. And I like this bread. I like this bread because it's quite a big piece. But today we are enjoying ourselves, so we're going to eat two of them. So we don't have toasters, so uh, what I do, I just put this uh, bread into the air fryer for 300. Uh, that's the temperature, and for 3 to 4 minutes, I'm going to sprinkle some olive oil. And by sprinkling, I mean exactly that. <laughs> I learned from my Greek friend that there is never uh, too much olive oil. Secret ingredient. If you want a good avocado toast, use this. Late breakfast ready. Mm -hmm. enjoying some music, coffee, and slowly getting ready for a day. I'm getting ready to go to Trader Joe and then uh, actually first Mr. Mike's Drifted Books. I'm looking for the book about anatomy and human's body because I just want to learn more about it. Hopefully they have something. If not, I'll probably go to Barnes & Noble just to see what they have in there. Okay, so a little report. I did not find the anatomy books. I did find three other books. 
and I got them. So it means that I have only one book left to buy this year because I have a limit of five books and I cannot buy more because I have a book addiction. So yeah. I'm going home. It's a practical magic playlist. It's the city I found. But I'm going home and I was super busy, super busy. I also wanted to go to Barnes and Novels but um there were no parking spots i did like a loop around there was nothing i just wanted to glance very quickly if they have any books about anatomy and how much it would be like the newest edition so but yeah i'm just going home just picked all this trash around the house and in the street it's really frustrating when there is so much trash Okay, I'm home. The investigation police, border patrol is here. No, come on. I think the main problem is this little creature. Exactly. Okay, a little Trader Joe haul. Yesterday we had the Grand Asian. I just showed you like very quickly what it was, but today I'm actually going to explain everything. This is the best bread ever. It's almost everything Tuscan pain. It is vegan. It actually says at the back that it's vegan. It's so good. It's my favorite bread. Next thing we have baby wild arugula. So I'm going to make my egg sandwich. It's like my little tradition now. On Sundays, it's vegan egg, by the way. So it's just so good. And this is what I'm going to use. Then I got avocados because we love avocados. I got eucalyptus. It's the same price, but it's a smaller package. Like, I don't know, it used to be way bigger and it used to be longer and way more. This is just like a joke. And I went through all of them. Hello, Pringle. I went through all of them and that was like the best option. Uh, olives, because why not? I got this drink, matcha green tea, so I'm going to try that. Bananas, because me and my husband eat a bunch of fruits now. Pepper, because I added it into my salad and then i got this this is so good it's amazing it's delicious i really love those crackers this one is vegan it's it's really good definitely recommend they're stressing me out because every time they hear they poison something they break something they cut something that obviously wasn't supposed to be broken cut or poisoned i for real have ptsd now from them i'm 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 like shaking every time they hear here we go today's not that serious they just blew some pots cool i love when they do that it's just like really so frustrating okay they passed this place, like they passed it, so they could have just like... Oh nice, look. They blew this one. I'm just like so tired of it, honestly. The reason why it frustrates me because they're just like so careless. They don't care, they break stuff and they don't even like knock on your door and tell you like, Hey, I'm sorry, but this happened. I would have been way more like forgiving if they were honest about it. The amount of stuff they did before they come on roses, they poison our beds they come a garlic they cut avocado trees in the compost pile like this is just insane they broke the pots um not one not two not three times multiple times they just blew those pots you blew them my thinking as a person i would just like lift them up and put them back where they were but no they're not capable of that so <sighs> that's why i'm not sure i'm going to do gardening this year I don't know if I'm going to plant anything because I just don't want anything to be broken and I'm just tired. It's it's not worth it. Until we have our own house, it's just not worth it. So in regards to the salon people, I just like this year in general, I want to practice being unbothered. So I'm just going to practice that. If we flip kind of the narrative, 
the fact that they cannot even lift the pots and put them where they were initially or they can't they don't care that they broke something and they can't knock on the door it just tells me more about them i'm really in the mood where i don't like how i look everything irritates me i don't like my clothes i don't like how i feel like today i just woke up i woke up feeling fine but i don't know like I'm just looking at myself, I, I don't like my face, I don't like how I look And it's like my own doing, you know, in a way, I think But at the same time, I did have a rough year And I have to give myself credit for just going through that And surviving and doing my best And putting like a fake smile and showing up While like I couldn't, you know I really wanted to be left alone And so like this week I'll be practicing some solitude And focusing on myself But just like even looking at myself It really frust it frustrates me I don't like how I look It just... I don't have like normal clothes I don't know how people show up and just like wear something normal I don't have anything like not even joking it's just so frustrating that I cannot have a normal outfit like what the heck is this I like this don't don't get me wrong but it's just like it feels wrong it feels weird and like my hair my face like I don't know how to explain that it's it's really frustrating and this has been in the making for two years since 2022 so I guess to undo all those things, I'll have to take another two years and um, I think I can do that. I think I can do that because I have bigger goals in my mind now and I think I can be focused enough to really achieve the things that I want to for like my family and uh, me, you know? I'm trying to be like productive, trying to edit the YouTube video, trying to make new TikToks, trying to cook and I got the email. Welp, I'm officially a provisional broker in North Carolina. Woohoo! I'm proud of myself. Honestly, I did not expect to be on this journey and I did not think I would complete it and I'm so happy. I mean, it's not really complete. I still have to do for like a do post licensing education so but we are honestly halfway through it's really exciting okay i was about to film another tiktok but pringle found his fishing pole and he loves it he barely plays with it now because uh, pepper like interrupts Pe pepper like honestly spoils every game but now like i figured it out how to play with pringle it's just so funny also look at those light reflections it's a disco ball that's hanging next to the window. So pretty. Can you say that I cleaned here yesterday? Like the floor was perfectly clean yesterday. Yes, boy. Frankie. <gasps> Are you okay? Oh my God. Hello, well we're starting again today. Yesterday was not a good day I feel like in terms of how I felt. I do feel empty today as well. I feel like it's because of you know one part of my life I'm saying and I have to step in and look for something new and uh, start a new path. Job looking, job searching is always a stressful thing. I actually kind of feel like I need to sit down and write exactly what I want. I know what I want, but I think I can go a little bit more into details. I'm not going to apply to anything and everywhere. I'm going to be very strategic with where I'm sending my resume. It is it is stressful because the market is quite depressing. Um, the majority of the jobs are underpaying or providing no benefits and asking. <laughs> so much in return like, trying to stay positive i think what's important is the attitude and uh, not thinking that oh my god this job is like my last resort i'm not going to fight anymore like if the job tells me no i will not be knocking on the same door twice no means no i got burned last time um last year i mean definitely not knocking on the same door twice what's mine is coming to me easily i'm practicing being unbothered but i feel like that there's still like a hole in me inside of me in my soul i feel so sad for some reason but yeah once we're in asian again so it's again a little hole we got broccoli because we're going to cook today mushrooms purple yam i never cooked it but i think i tried it once but i'm not sure but yeah we're going to cook sweet potatoes maybe i can convince my husband to cook this too if not i'm just going to make something else with it 
another coconut because I have two jars of curry and I have only one coconut so I thought I'll just match it so that next time we're making curry I just have to get veggies and that would be it. Of course peanuts for my squirrels. Oh my god, by the way, yesterday in the evening we seen a possum. I never seen one and so sweet. It was a big one by the way and Pringle was the one who seen it uh, uh, at the window. He ran, he knows, like Pringle is so smart. He ran to the other room and Dustin was like trying to look for it. We turn off the light, lights everywhere, turn on the outside lights. And then he opened the front door and he was like, oh my God, you have to come, you ready, you ready? And oh my God, sweet baby possum. I think I heard the noise of it the day before uh, because I was throwing something away. And I'm just like so happy that, you know, there are animals uh, at the back. It just, I love them so much. I wish I could talk to animals. Um, yeah, Eliza Thornberry vibes. That is, uh, Again, nuts, walnuts. I refuse to eat walnuts any other way. They have to be in their shell. I want to crack them open. That's that's the only way I can eat them now. No walnuts in the bags that are open, no. This is the only way for me now. I really love it, I enjoy the process, and it's quite easy, so. Yeah, I eat uh, probably like five, six a day. We also got this yesterday. My husband loved it. Um, I don't think I like vanilla creamers. There's a caramel one, so next time we are going to get caramel. But yeah, Oatly has creamer now. It's relatively cheap compared to other things, so try it. Okay, if you say this, you know exactly what it means. Avocado toast. It's so weird to see my body like that, but um. It is what it is. 40 pounds extra, yay! We just arrived to the lake. It's quite busy in here. It's the first time parking on this side of the lake, so we'll see how it goes. Are you coming to harass me? I don't have food, I'm so sorry. Can you tell I'm happy? I'm glad I came here. I love birds, love water, love sound. Sound? Sand trees, lakes, so pretty. It looks so magical. Okay, I wanted to go to the spot that I usually go. It's my like little secret spot, but it seems like it's way far away and i'm already hot i'm definitely out of shape yeah i don't know we'll see i may just return back and just go sit at the lake from the spot where i go to you can also see the lake and it's quite secluded and nice but yeah we'll see i kind of want to be more free and just feel more in public right now i'm by myself so it's way easier <laughs> but uh, once there are people it's a little bit more weird i mean that's fine when even when i was filming i heard you know a few comments not today but in general people rolling their eyes or being weird about it whatever you know i do it for fun i do it for memories but it's still a little bit weird regardless especially when you point the camera like that at yourself and you speak to yourself but whatever oh my god no i love that spot but I'm going back. It's so windy in here. It's so cold. It was a good day. Good walk. I need to go home. But I kind of want to stay outside. But I do need to go home and do some stuff around the house. I am actually going to Quantum Live, the like a uh, spiritual story.
Okay, I'm home. This is what I got. This and the incense was from Quantum Life. And that was from the second store. It's like a fancy consignment store in Kiri. I'm glad I went. It's like so much in there. And I found the soaps. It's quite nice. I was looking for the rose soap for some time. And it's just $2. So that was nice. This one smells amazing. And I had to get the third one because they don't accept cards if it's below $5. But yeah, I got selenite. I got rose quartz it's a little bit like transparent and i actually liked it and the rainbow moonstone and i got this persian rose for aphrodite they didn't have anything for like love and self-love or just like regular rose stuff so i thought okay that's that's nice so i got this and i got the money matrix i'm kind of like was always not scared but i thought if i do any like money ritual money magic it's cheating but i think i have to put this uh, thinking aside and just you know support myself from any possible side so why not so i got this incense i'm quite excited to try it this is a mask i'm going to do it smells quite nice and it's only for a few minutes so that's what i like about it but i'm going to put it today for maybe like 30 minutes Okay, one thing is done. I still can't decide if I want to grow my hair or I just want to cut them. I'm cutting this purple potato and I had to look it up. But I, I mean, I noticed starch before, but on a purple potato, it just looks so much different. Lockdown. Good morning, it's Wednesday. It will be the last day of me filming something today. I am going to the library because I need to pick up a few books. I honestly don't want to go anywhere, but I kind of have to. It's late, it took me like two hours to get ready, but that's okay because I put like some makeup, took photos, made TikToks. I also unfollowed like a bunch of accounts on Instagram. It's really hard to explain how like Instagram influences me and like, I really get negative vibes. I followed around 20 accounts today and I feel good. It's kind of getting in the, like, hard zone because I already unfollowed, like, more than 100 accounts previously. And I obviously feel so, so much better. So today I was just, like, muting accounts. I really want to have uh, under 100 pages that I follow because a lot of them will be, like, people I know will be probably bad to unfollow but um I don't think I'll be following anyone new at this point even like if we meet and we know each other like I just want my page to be what it is I'll mute everybody except maybe like 10 accounts and I already muted a lot of notifications a lot of like messages phone numbers as long as like not my husband everybody else is muted tiktok on the other hand has been like so freeing and so good i love it it's very inspiring i also journaled out the lake yesterday and it was really nice i kind of want to read you that because again it was about people pleasing and just molding myself or how i used to mold myself to the liking of others and obviously i don't want to do this anymore those are the books i picked some of them i need to finish and some of them are new to me so yeah that's exciting i really need to pick up on reading and she's home i picked up more books than i needed but that's okay you know i also wanted to go to a thrift store nearby but i told myself if i go home i can take or i can drink uh another cup of coffee <laughs> And I'm just so hungry that I was so excited to come home and just like probably eat avocado toast. Still keep working on that, meaning people pleasing and getting rid of that. And I know it'll get better. It's just frustrating that it took me so long to realize it. It's like I gave my life away to make others feel better. To mold myself to their liking in order to make them feel special and good about themselves. I still sometimes pretend I don't know something. I make myself small to make others feel better to ensure they're not offended by my presence. I add... I think, I'm not sure, maybe, seems like it, I don't really know, but, although I 100% know, for sure, and I hate when I do that, because now I realize these things, and I can reflect on them, but they keep happening automatically, I'm better though, than even a year ago, and maybe, just maybe, I'd rather be called rude for setting my own boundaries and being honest, than being called nice for letting others use me, waste my time, and, and manipulate me. I am done with manipulations. I was also thinking how tired I am of living the old purposeless life where I was serving others instead of myself. 
I'd rather be judged for being myself than for being someone else. This sale is obviously old, but still. I still, of course, need to discover who I am and dig deeper. I still have people-pleasing tendencies, but I think I am definitely changing and I'm so happy about it. I'm tired of molding myself to the liking of others, tired of making myself small to appeal to others. I'm not going to be a part of the Tetris game. I'm not just another puzzle piece. I'm me. I'm complete. And what's mine will come to me. I will be judged anyways, regardless of which path I choose. So I'd rather choose me and authenticity. Okay, so instead of the avocado toast, I decided to make a salad. It has rucola or arugula, whatever it's called in English. Olive oil, um, olives, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, tomatoes, avocado, and those pita bread chips from Trader Joe. Okay, well, I'll be eating now, but then I'll just work on my YouTube, I guess, and editing videos. I feel so, like, energetic and creatively inspired because I think I just decided to do those things for myself and I already realized I will not grow my Instagram, I will not grow my YouTube to the level how I dreamt it and same goes to TikTok. The only platforms that truly grow for me is my blog and Pinterest and last year I barely even put any work into Pinterest and my blog was abandoned, like truly abandoned. So but yeah, this year we are changing that. I just feel so creative that it's also destructive because my main priority should be looking for a job, but at the same time, looking for a job is so stressful. It's truly amazing to me. Indeed is also such a messy platform to be honest and just looking for the job is big big stress I know what I want and I know I just have to come to it with like positive mindset and Definitely not knocking on the same door twice or even if like people rejected me That's it. That, that's the bottom line. I'm not going to knock on the door and say, oh, please hire me hire me hire me I, I got born last year definitely badly because of it but yeah i'm just trying to stay positive and i know what's mine will come to me what's mine will come to me i just keep reminding that to myself i just need to put a little bit more effort yeah that's my little setup my salad and promised coffee it's really bad that i drink a second cup of coffee today and i had one yesterday but okay we're just living live and you know trying to get by